Hey guys, this is Rock King 3 bringing you another live commentary, Forza 5. And unfortunately, this is my second take on this video. Um, I already did what I wanted to do and did a parts and tune on the car. And Anyway, this, uh, this video, even though it's my part 2, <laughs> you didn't get to see part 1, it just did not record properly. Um, this is a revisit of my D-Class cars. Um, I, I learned a lot about tuning and stuff in the upper classes, probably started getting pretty good at it in B class and then, uh, got a lot better even as A and S came along. So I kind of worked my way up through the classes and then as I went along, got better. But, um, what I want to do is go back and race some of my favorite D class cars and, you know, fix them up with uh, the new things that I've learned so hopefully they'll be even better than they were before um, the the rival I have on here I think it was about 160th I actually had to pull down somebody else's rival because in my first recording of this I, I did beat it um, so I'm pretty confident we're going to beat it again here and at least just in a couple of laps this car is set up really really well with the uh, new settings I actually didn't change any parts on it at all I just changed a lot of the configuration and the handling aspect of this car this car can go full throttle in a lot of turns it's just a blast i've always liked the mazda miata and i've raced them before in um, an old race game that i used to play on the playstation actually i won't name it here but since we're playing forza but what i want to do is kind of show you how much better this car is and then give you the uh, part, basically an over parts and tune, just getting it all updated. I've already uploaded it, so you guys can download this tune. It's called D Class Revisited, Revisit, D Class Revisit. Um, I got rid of the old tunes since we updated it, but you should be able to pull that down if you want to. You can watch the video and build it yourself. Ah, I just ruined this straight away here, but this car is quick enough. As long as I can drive it well, we should be all right. So this uh, rival on the track is where my old Mazda Miata sat. We're into the gas pretty early there. We want to get acceleration going. So far, so good. We got a clean lap going. I do want to stay out here a little bit longer and then dive it in. There we go. There we go. Really good. We want to get to about 100 there. We dropped down the 98, but that's all right. My new brake settings are so high that you don't really use them as brakes. You just kind of tap them. And this should be almost a full throttle through here. I did let off a little bit because I did turn a little bit late. So my revisits are just some of my favorite cars. Not necessarily the top leader cars. They're probably ones I do have on the leaderboard, but you know, maybe not real high. I'm not sure if this Mazda Miata is the top car for this type of track. I did not take that very well either. Um, but it's one of my favorite cars and on one of my favorite tracks, so putting those two things together, I guess. Man, you just cruise through that turn. These cars do seem a lot slower than what they used to. Uh, just because I've been racing in the higher classes for a while. A little squirrely there. I want to let off a little bit more so we don't hit anything. I left that in sixth gear. Much better turn that time. And we are going to scorch it. All right, we got it. I think we actually beat, I think I actually beat the time I had before. And I think it was about 120th on this track. So hopefully that'll bump us up another maybe 10 spots, maybe. 
somewhere between 110 115 maybe so we're going to check the parts and tunes here real quick or we're going to check the leaderboard first and then we'll take you to the parts and tunes we'll go through the parts again even though the parts haven't changed from previous models but just in case this is the first time you've seen it you don't have to find out of the video and then i'll give you the tune on it as well yay another level getting closer to that thousand All right, we ended up at the top 100 there, 95th, really nice. Very happy with that. I think that was just one full lap, so we could definitely get a couple of turns improved there and uh, maybe tuck that into the top 75. But right now, for what I'm going to show you guys, it's going to be just fine. All right, let's go check out the parts and tune. I haven't looked at it for quite a while, um, although I just went through it again. Um, but we have the stock engine, we have still the stock drivetrain, and we have the central fugal supercharger upgrade here. Um, I'm going to cheat here a little bit because I do remember what we did here. So all of these air filters, all these are stock that I'm going to skip through, make this video even shorter. So all of those are stock. This is not stock. We have the race central fugal supercharger on it. And we have the race intercooler. And we have street oil and cooling. And we have the stock flywheel. So that's all the engine parts, just these three here. Um, we do have the race brakes, the race spring and dampers, the race front and rear anti-roll bars. This is always where it varies a little bit, so we'll go through it. We've got the race chassis roll cage in it and we have the street weight reduction. All right, on the drivetrain, we have the stock clutch. You can see I've tried them all out. <laughs> um, on this one, I have the race transmission. Um, some of you that follow Money Man 300, he actually uses the sport transmission. I'm not sure where he uses the extra point, probably like in a wheel weight or something like that, but I really do like the six gear on that particular track. Um, we have the street drive line, and we have the race differential. Tire compound is going to be a little higher than usual, but it's still the sport tire compound. Makes that car just handle so well on that track. We have the 195 45s on the upgraded front tire width, and we're going to have the full upgraded rear tire width in the rear. That tire just looks ginormous right there doesn't it all right the wheel we have the weld racing that's in the third set the magnum 3 you can find a weight equivalent to that there's actually probably quite a few wheels at that weight in the front upgraded front tire uh, rim size we have the r16s second one in and on the rear we have the r17s third gen the third one in there. We have the front Forza wing spoiler and we have the Forza rear wing spoiler. We're gonna have the stock rear bumper and the stock side skirts but we will have the street hood. Can't even tell you that's that carry very I can't even tell you what that is. Um, anyway we have the hood and that is it from a parts perspective. So let's go through the tune. Um, I did not change the tires. They were 26.5 before. Um, this gear ratio is actually set up sp specifically for that track. So if you're going to take this car to another track, make sure you look at the gearing. Uh, we have negative 2.2 in the front camber. We have negative 2.5 in the rear camber. We have 0, zero on the toe and 6.0 on the front caster. Um, this is where the differences are going to come in. This is a little bit softer, kind of the same ratio. Um, but here you're going to get a little bit better traction with a little bit softer setting. We got 14.84 in the front, 10.16 in the rear. In the springs we have front 498, and in the rear we have 452.8. Those are both down about 70 or 80 pounds from our previous one. Um, we have the right height did not change at 5050. Uh, the damping is actually Race Boy 77 settings. This is kind of what he defaults to. Um, I threw that on there. It worked really well. 11.7 in the front and rear for the rebound stiffness. 
1.9 for the bump stiffness front and rear. Uh, thank you, Race Boy, for those settings. Um, downforce we have as low as possible. We have 50 and 75. Um, this is going to be another change. So we have 47% on the braking force and a full 200% on, on the uh, pressure. Um, no change here, but we do have acceleration at 35 and we have deceleration at 38. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I've also saved this tune out. It's going to be D Class Revisit. And you can either download it there or you can uh, take my settings from here. We're going to continue to uh, find other favorite cars in the D-Class. And we'll just work our way up and see uh, some classes may have more cars than others. But I like to go back and improve them all. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Catch you next time.